hello and welcome back to the channel today's tutorial will be on how to make this beautiful mermaid gown to subscribe to the channel share to friends don't forget to give us a thumbs up so for this tutorial you're going to be working with your you're going to be folding your material with your largest body measurements which is your hip okay so your hip divide by four then you're going to add extra seven inches for it that is for your mermaid effect all right so now the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to be cutting the full length of my dress so i'm going to offer it from my half length which is 16 inches okay so from this point you have 16 inches then i'm going to be inserting the full length of the gown so the full length of the gown i'm working with is 60 inches to 60. so i'm going to be adding extra two inches to it making it 62 inches and this is the full length here i don't know if it's well understood so now this is my start up line i'm going to be trimming off the upper parts then from this start up line it's going to serve as my waist measurement from there i'm going to come down to nine inches this is where my round hip measurement will be okay so here now go ahead and insert your hip measurements my hip measurement is 10 inches plus my sewing allowance then here on the waist i'm going to insert my waist measurement plus my sewing allowance so having done this now, connect my hip to my waist. This format. And this is what we have. Okay. So now from your waistline, sorry, this chalk may not be very visible. From your waistline, the next thing you have to mark is your new length. Alright. So from the waistline, I'm going to go down to 18 inches. This is where my new measurement will pick up on. So this is my new length. So what you have to do is minus one inch from your hip measurement. My hip is 10. I'm going to be marking nine inches. This is for my new plus two inches in allowance. Then I'm going to be connecting my hip to the new. All right. So from this new now, I'm going to be connecting to the bottom of or the hem of the skirt. So from here you're going to be making a curl like a fish tail to so this part so from here you connect it to that area then you go ahead and cut this out so guys i'm going ahead to cut this piece out now So guys, this is what we have. Alright, so we'll be using this piece to cut out for our back piece. So now we're going to be working on the back piece. I went ahead to fold my fabric into two. Alright, and I'm going to be placing my front piece on top of it. Alright, so before I place it, I'm going to also give about seven inches allowance before placing my front piece.
So after arranging it, this is what you are. So the next thing to do is you go ahead and mark where your your new measurement is. And this is where we had our new our new measurement. Right? Now the next thing to mark is your seat allowance. So I'm going to be working with one and a half inches or two inches from your zip allowance. One and a half is okay. One and a half to two inches zip allowance. So when I come to this new line, what I'm going to do is divide your hip your zip measurements into two. Like I'm working with two inches zip allowance now. At this point now, what I'm going to mark here is just one inch. Right, but other places is going to be two inches, then connect it to this one inch you have here. Then from there now, which is where your new measurement is, you're going to be making a fish tail to the bottom of your dress. Okay, so now this tail dress is in two ways. If you want it to have a fish, a long fish tail at the back, what you have to do is you go ahead and add about extra inches on the bottom, make your curve and all the rest of it. But for this tutorial, I'm not doing that. Okay, so from here now, I'm connecting to this point. So this is what it's going to look like. This is what we have for our dress. So you go ahead and match your zip allowance. So guys, this is what we have. Now you go ahead and cut out your lining. So guys, the first thing you're going to mark is going to. So the first thing you're going to be placing because this is going to be an off shoulder dress. You're going to place minus five to our half length or to your half length so mine is 16 and a half inches that's where my half length is now from there i'm going to mark my chest line my chest line is at eight and a half inches which is here then my bust line which is at 10 inches my under bust which is at 13 inches okay and i'll go ahead and make the view across Sorry, my marker is kind of not showing very well. I don't know why. Alright, so now I'm going to label this. This is my C chest line. This is my B boss line. This is my U under boss, and this is my H half length. Then this is our startup line. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert my body measurements on this chest line. I'll go ahead and mark my bust measurement that is part of my bust measurement so for this i have eight and a half inches then on my waist i have seven and a half inches okay i'm going to connect them okay. 
this is what I have. Then I'm going to be adding extra two, two inches for my seam allowance. I'm also going to connect it. Alright, so having done this now, the next thing I'm going to divide is my nipple to nipple measurement, which is my bust pan measurement. I'm going to mark it at my under bust, my bust line first of all. Mark it at my under bust and on my waist line. Then I'm going to connect them together. Okay, this is it. So having done this now, the next thing to do is I'm going to come to the waist line and mark one inch, that is this waistline now of this my bust line from my nipple to nipple line i'm going to mark one one inch on both sides of the line this is my dart in tip i also mark it at the under bust so guys now after marking one one inch on both sides of the nipple to nipple line i'm going to connect them together And this is what I have, all right? Then, now, I'm going to come to my bust line here. And I'm going to come down by one inch. From this point, I'm going to come down by one inch, which is here. Then I'm going to be making a curve to this point I have here, to my under bust. So I'm going to be using the curve part of this rule for that. And this is what I have at this point. All right. Now we're going to come to this line. This is these are minus five, which is our startup line. And we're going to mark four inches. This is four inches our nipple to nipple measurement. We're going to be adding extra one inch to it. So four inches plus one, giving us five inches. And this is where it is. So from here now, I'm going to be connecting to this boss line. And this is what I have. Okay, so now we're going to be tightening this area uh, over bust. So I'm going to also be using. You can decide to use one inch. You can decide to use zero point seven five inches. So for this, I'm going to be using one inch for it. So I'll mark one inch here. I'll mark one inch here. That is our uh, that's in tip. Then I'm going to come to my bust line, which is here. I'm going to go up by one inch. And I'm going to connect these lines I have here, this that's in tape I have here. And this is what we have. Alright. So having done this now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to be marking, placing your ample curve and all the rest of them. So first thing first, you place your shoulder. So guys, now the next thing we're going to be working on is on this upper area to create our armhole to this piece, okay? So here now I'm going to place my shoulder measurements. My shoulder measurement is 8 inches and I'm going to be removing 2 inches from it, making it 6. And this is where my 6 inches falls, alright? Now I'm going to measure what I have at this point. I have 2 inches. I'm going to add it back here plus 1 inch seam allowance. For stitching allowance making it three inches okay this is it here now i'm going to be connecting it to this area this chest line i'm going to go ahead and make a curve into it all right but before then so guys on this chest line i'm going to measure what i have here all right i have half an inch plus one inch stitching allowance i add it back to my pattern paper then this on my under boss i also measure what i have here i have two inches so i'm adding it back to this area all right same thing for my waist we have two inches here plus one inch stitching allowance please don't forget you're also going to add your one inch stitching allowance having done that now we go ahead and connect them together so for this bust area like this chest line now i just have half an inch here so I want to make it the same measurement to my waist area, so that after sewing, to avoid unnecessary drama. All right. So that's what I'm going to be able to do. 
and this is what I have now. I'm going to go ahead and retrace this color line. Then go ahead and cut this out. So this is, is it for the upper part of this dress for the front piece. You're going to be using this to cut out for your back piece, but you're going to be adding a zipper allowance to your back piece. Now, the next thing I forgot to trace out is this part of the neck, alright? So you can decide to leave your neck this way. You can decide to give it a sweetheart shape. So if you want yours to have a sweetheart shape, what you have to do is from this point, you go ahead and make a curve to your chest line, okay? Go ahead and make your deep curve, and this is what I have. this is it for our front piece now to cut out our back what i have to do is just to go ahead and fold this in this way place it on my fabric and cut out for my back piece so guys now we're going to be cutting out for our back piece so we have here for our zip allowance so at this point we have for our zip okay and this is where our minus five started from earlier. This is what we have here. So I'm going ahead to retrace this on the pattern paper. And this is what I have. Okay. So now, the next thing I'm going to do is, this is where my chest line is. Yeah. So from here now, I'm going to be making a curve. Like from this point, I'm going to come in by one inch. Let's say one inch. Then from here, I'm going to be coming, curving in, inwards. Okay, because our zip is not going to start from here. If it starts from this minus five, it's going to be bulky. Right, it's not going to lap very well. So what you have to do is bring it down towards your chest line. So your zip is going to be at your chest line area. You can decide to keep it here, you can decide to come down a bit and cut it up. I left a few inches here, about one inch here is for my drawing of my seam allowance then for the holding of my lining. Okay, so now transfer this to your fabric. So guys, this is my front piece. I've gone ahead to transfer to fabric then I went ahead to place iron and interfacing to it to give it this stiffness. Okay, so now I'm going to join my pieces together. This is my front three front pieces. I'll go ahead and join them together. I will do the same thing for my lining piece. I'm not using a breast wording for this. I'm going to be using a ready-made cup for this tutorial. So guys, the next thing I went ahead to do was to place my ready-made bra cup on my lining piece. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So now I'm going to be turning on my lining with... I'm going to be turning on my demand fabric with my lining piece. Alright. So I'm going to place it this way. Then go ahead and turn it out with this piece. So guys, the next thing we're going to be cutting out now is our sleeve. So first of all, I'm going to fold my sleeve into this way. Okay. 
Then I'm going to fold this way again. Alright, so I'm cutting two pieces at the same time. One is going to be for my lining piece and the other one is going to be for my main sleeve. So first and foremost, you're going to mark the large measurement, which is your round sleeve measurement. So for this, I'm going to be working with 13 inches. And when I divide it by 2, I'm going to have 6.5 inches. Alright, so I'm having an extra half an inch, so it's making it 7 inches. And this is where I marked it. Now I'm going to come to the upper part, which is this area, and I'm going to mark four and a half inches. And this is my four and a half inches. So from this four and a half inches, I'm going to connect to the seven inches I have at the bottom. And this is what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. But before then, you also mark the length of your sleeve, how long you want your sleeve to be. Okay. So now I'm going to be working with 4 inches. So basically I'm going to be cutting up this excess at the bottom part of it. So this is what I have. I'm going to be using... This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to use one. Like this two and fold, I'm going to run a stitch at the bottom part of it, then turn it out from the side. You get that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this to cut out another piece. So guys, the next thing we're going to be doing now is we're going to be attaching our sleeve. Okay, so I've turned it out, stitch on it, turn it out, then iron it. Now I'm going to be using half an inch to strain it to my armhole area. So this is my front piece. I'm going to go ahead and join it to this piece. The same thing for my back. This other end, which is here, I also go ahead and join it to my back piece. Alright. So guys, when I'm done attaching this loop, the next thing I went ahead was to shape my top. Alright. I'm gonna have to shape it and this is what I have. So I'll keep this aside then. We'll... Next thing I recommend is for you to put it that to your back piece. Please don't forget. This was the skirt part of my gown. I've gone ahead to insert a lining to it, then shape it. So this is for my front and this is for the back. Alright, so I use the lining to turn out the zip allowance area for my back piece. Also marked where my zip is going to stop. I left about 10 to 11 inches for my zip space. Alright, so insert my zip. Then I went ahead and close it up all the way to the down. Then the next thing after doing this you have to do is just hem the bottom of your skirt. Alright, so I'm going to turn this out. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be joining our upper part to the skirt part of our skirt. So what you have to do is make sure that the two sides are lined together. So this is what I have to do. I place the stitching, this is our stitching allowance for the side. This is our stitching allowance for the side. So I'm going to go ahead now and run a stitch on it. Okay. 